Dr. Mickey Loftus, as we call you. Yeah. Dr. Michael is right now, but everyone knows you as Mickey, so we call you Mickey. Yeah, yeah that's right. Mickey. Yeah. You were born where? I was born in, in Kintoon, County of Roscommon. My dad was a, a guard sergeant there at the time. And he was transferred to Elfin, and my mother died following church, uh, childbirth, the baby born, twins born, and she died. So we came back to, to this home in Cosmolena. I was six years of age at that time. And you're still working? Still working. And uh, what was life like as a kid down in Kintoon, oh, was it? In, in, well, I, I re really know life in Cosmolena because when I was in Kintoon, I was a baby. But and you moved? You moved? I moved to Elfin for a short time. But then on to, uh, I was. Eight years when I went down to Cross Malina, and I'm there since. And you're there since then. Yeah. And you went to school in Cross Malina? Cross Malina. National school, National yeah. school. And what was the school like that time? Oh, school, um, it used to be very cold in it. But uh, still, uh, we had very hard times in it. And I think of the teacher, he used to get us involved in everything. Uh, we all call him Mr. Corker. Mr. Parkman, he was my, my teacher, and uh, I had us playing the usual things, football, but we didn't have what to have nowadays. We, we, we had no togs or boots or anything like that. When you say it was cold, uh, how, was the, how was the school heated? It was, uh, we, we, we had to bring our salt and turf with us to school to warm it. That's all during the winter, yeah? All during the winter. Every uh, one was supposed to bring uh, two or three salt and turf each day. And what, what uh, subject? Were you taught in school at that time? In, uh, well, the usual Irish, English, maths, uh, geography, uh, history, um, all those in primary school. And you had an exam coming out that time, yeah? Uh, we did, we did. Um, uh, primary, primary search, school, right? yeah, primary search. Yeah. Primary search. <laughs> and was it strict? In what way? Was there uh, capri uh, corporal punishment? Well, there was no, but I'd have to say our teacher, I never remember him using it. He didn't do it too much, at yeah? At any time, no. And uh, then you went on to... Well, uh, some your next and yeah. So before you went to there, how did you punch in the time with kids that time? Oh, like you didn't have iPads I or... I was just thinking that today, we didn't have what you used to do. I was so afraid that we used to do. And we used to have what you call, of course, the deer. We'd let two fellas off and we'd go off following them. And we'd go miles looking for them yeah. and so on. And then uh, there was the usual thing, going to the ground for nuts uh, another time. And, uh, we were playing conkers, and I remember uh, pitching buttons. Pitching uh, buttons? Uh, you know, pitching buttons. Uh, oh, buttons, uh, okay. Buttons, buttons that money, no? <laughs> and we'd have uh, the bigger buttons and the smaller buttons, and uh, yeah, so on. Uh, but we had no money, I'd say. Yeah, there was no money that time. No, no money that no time. Money. And then we were near Lock Con. Uh, you know, we were uh, my from Lock Con. That's where we used to go swimming in the summertime. Yeah. And were you only fishing that time? Well, no, we used to go to non day fishing, but we didn't do much in the fishing. And you see, if you th take those years, were the war years. Yeah. That's, I was born up in 1939 to 1944. Uh, we were very much in war years. And, um, uh, things were scarce, and the, I remember the lights used to go out at night time. They were worried that the Germans would be passing over and drop bombs on us. And, uh, so that was. Uh, uh, you remember that, yeah? That was a worry, all right, at the time. There was rationing that time, too, wasn't there? Oh, there was rationing. Uh, were you aware of it as a kid? I was, yeah. I remember going to uh, the shop, to Brown's shop. That was Pat Brown, he was a TD. Michael Brown was his son. I remember, and he, uh, you'd only get so much. You know, when we present, oh, everything was I mentioned. I remember when the war finished and the um, uh, oranges and all the bananas came back. We were thrilled. <laughs> yeah. And there were ration books around that time. There, there were ration books, of course. But I, I had the ration books, but I didn't use that much, I think. But anyways, there was definitely ration books. Then you went to the Muradex, yeah? The Muradex in Belenand. The Muradex now, the college would be eight or nine miles from Cross Malina, mm. down to the Sligo Road. So we cycled it every day. Cycled it for five years. I kept you fish. In and out. Oh, I kept you fish, that's right. Mm. And uh, often, uh, when class had finished, we'd play a football match. And all we'd have is a sandwich. And we didn't mind that much. Uh, but, uh, what year was it then? They'd be early 50s uh, then, would they? When I say no. Um, no, I, I was in Muradex from uh, 1944. Uh, 
I see. I was just turned 14 in Ireland in 1943. You started in Muradex, sir. Yeah, I started in Muradex. We cycled there. And were there many in Muradex that time? Um, there many pupils? There was. There was a full house. Many of them. Many of them in your class? Well, uh, I said there were um, t at least 20. 20, yeah. At least 20, no. And were there more than one class uh, each year? Or was it like. Were there A and B classes and that kind of oh, thing? Oh, no, no. One class? One class. So 20 went in every year then? Yeah, every year. We okay. We progressed near the same class. Uh, right. So there weren't big numbers yeah. going that time? There was, yeah. there was uh, five or six of us uh, cycling about in there. And mm. two, uh, well, Benny, my brother, he, he did medicine and I did medicine. And there was three others and they went off and uh, three priests. Oh, okay. So, uh, and what was the school the school like that time? Of course, were there borders there, were there? Oh, there was borders. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and what was it like, uh, the teaching standard there? What did you learn that time? Oh, we did all the, the usual. usual science, did you do Latin? Uh, uh, Latin, Greek, the lot. Did you have to have Latin that time for medicine, did you? Oh, we did, yeah. You had to have uh, it, yeah. But we did Latin anyway, so they did Latin, they think, in case you went to the Minota or things. Yeah. Well, it to the diocesan seminary, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. right. So they were trying to make a priest out of you? Yeah. Well, they got three in your family, they were all right. <laughs> and then, um, was well, that, well, that strict there? Was there corporal punishment there, Little? Oh, uh, no, no. Not I, really. I never remember. Uh, there wasn't that much of it anyway, no? No, there was. Yeah. You know. It was hanging over you, I suppose. Yeah, it was hanging over you. <laughs> kind of a threat. It was. So then it you went to. All priests uh, were. Uh, all priests, oh, that's right. Uh, all priests, except for one, the mm. science teacher. Mm. The science teacher was Mr. Malloy, uh, we called them all. His brother was the famous uh, uh, player, right, up in uh, Galway there in Milltown. Okay, right. Yeah. yeah. And then you, what uh, motivated you to do medicine? The basic reason was that Benny did it, my brother. Okay. There was no. Uh, so, you know, that was, it, that was your, was it, that's what that was your career guidance, was it? Honestly, uh, you know, I had their uh, notions about my new thought, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, I remember my dad said, well, what, what will you do? And I said to him straight back, I think I'll do what Benny did. Yeah. And that was my decision. And that was, the, that was the decision made? That was the decision made. And where did you go to do it? Uh, UCG. UCG, yeah. Although he was in UCD. Hmm. And what year did you start there? I started in, um, let's see, 48. 48, 48, that's right, 48, you're right. And it was seven, six, and six, six years an intern six years, then as well. Yeah, yeah. an intern. And right. were there many medical students that time in your class now? Yeah. Just now I'm thinking there as a, you know, say the class. I said there would be about 20. 20, so there were small classes there? Yeah, there were about 20. And were there any ladies in it? Oh, there was. Many women? Class. There was a, a few Polish. Yeah, in our class, you know, the Poles came, something got to do with the war. The war, okay, the right. War, uh, yeah. Okay. And then, um, who, 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 who were the professors? Can you remember any professors in Galway at that time? Oh, who uh, were teaching you? Professor McKenna, oh, and yeah, yeah. Siobhan's father. And, uh, and what did he teach? Yeah, well, no, he was more into science, and then science. there was O'Shea, the son of him was a professor there in, in Galway as well. Yeah. And um, who was? Oh, I have to remember them all. Yeah. Yeah. Was Jerry Little there that time, or did he come? Oh, there? he was. He, oh, come Jerry, uh, he was. Uh, he, he was there. Uh, actually, um, he was the bone man. He was the bone man. Yeah, the first oh, one. Jerry was there, and oh, uh, Jerry, uh, well, and uh, in later yeah. life, his son, I got very friendly with Malcolm. Malcolm, yeah. yeah and, uh, and how about? Um, that's my big uh, uh, drawback at the moment. I remember the names. Was there Donald there? Oh, he was. Yeah. Michael O'Donnell. Michael O'Donnell. Did he right. teach you? He did. Because yeah. he taught me. Yeah. As well. oh, yeah. he, he, he's not that long, he did you? No. no. His son is there now, isn't he? he is, he's retired too, so uh, yeah. he done yeah. endocrinology, yeah. And well, had you a good time in college? Oh, yeah. Was there much drinking going on at that time? I tell you now, um, I always remember when I started there. I was going down by the car. You remember Cahill's shop? There at the corner. Yeah. I remember Billy Kinney, God be good to him. Billy just stopped me. And uh, that year I had played with Mio and the minor all Ireland. And he said, Will you come out and do a bit of training for Sigerson? And I said, Sure. And that was my, one of my best decisions. It introduced me to so many, and especially in the football area. But I'd have to say, with, and, and I'm not minimizing it now, that there was very little drinking. With, with well, there was no money again? Yeah, there was there very no little again. drinking. Yeah. And, then, uh, oh, and had you played football at home, you had? Oh, I had. Had you played club or? Oh, I had played. I had won a senior championship with Cross Malina. Um, 
before that, and uh, it had been played in the minor All Ireland that year that I went there. Uh, we uh, Tyrone beat us in the final. The final, yeah. By, uh, by a point. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so you done your, your your stint in college, and did you have to do an internship then? Oh no, we did uh, the first year. Yeah. First year, yeah. Pre -med. Yeah. What were you working hours like that time? Fairly long. Lectures, no, Did you have much of a rota or anything like that? No, uh, Were you working in the hospital then? Oh, well, this now, I, I, you mean when I qualified? When you qualified, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we had fairly long hours in the, in the hospital. And then, uh, in, uh, I then was transferred, I sent over to maternity. And Neil McDermott, no? Neil, we had Neil for surgery. He was for surgery, yeah. That's right, yeah. for um, Oh, anyway, so Michael O'Donnell of medicine and he O'Donnell with surgery. That's right. And who was that? And his dad was there before him too. He just lived up. O'Malley's. There was O'Malley's there. No, there was O'Malley's. Michael O'Malley's surgeon. His son was in the same class with me. Ryan O'Malley yeah. and Martin Flynn. Uh, but anyway, uh, he used to come in that office. So Tom O'Shea, Thomas up in, uh, in Clare Baldwin or something, and he was the registrar in maternity, and I, I was the host sergeant. Yeah. And we um, used to do a fair bit of the work. So I got great experience in, in, in that kind of things. Uh, so then what did you do after UCG? After, after UCG. Did you work in the regional hospital? Or was I, I did. I it wasn't called that then. It was called the Central that time. Central, it? Hospital. Central, Central hospital. hospital. What did it look like that time? Smallish, you know. Oh. It, uh, were there huts there? Were there Nissan huts? Were there Nissan huts there? There was, yeah. There were some Nissan huts down to the other side. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm just thinking now. Uh, we were in the orthopedics. Uh, when I did um, with um, uh, Jerry Little. That's mm. who I did the orthopedics with. And we were in huts and uh, orthopedic and the things. So the beds were in there, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We used to do a fair bit. Uh, that's a big fair bit of experience in the orthopedics. But, uh, Jerry was there, and then I came to Castle Bar, and 